Yo, what is up, America? It is Keith the Trucker. Guys, I got a UFC free play today that I really love that you have the ability to do on any site you want, sportsbooks, DFS. What I want you to do is find the best possible lines for the play that you can find. Now, the reason I did this one on the sportsbooks, for whatever reason, they were offering me a significantly higher payout, which is usually pretty strange. A lot of times the DFS are very competitive um, on these little two-leg parlays. So let's get into the play. But before I do that, if you're new here, make sure you hit that sub button and hit the like. I just did a sick freaking offer, guys. And I have to tell you about it real quick um, on my MLB video. Let me get my glasses over here. And real quick, uh, we're going to head over to, um, let's see here, WAP.com right here. So guys um this is a thank you first and foremost for supporting me uh, i really do appreciate it and i told you guys for 300 subs i was going to do something big for y'all so a lot of you that are following me right now you've been betting on mlb and um so what i'm going to do uh is i cut the rest of the season price for mlb down to 50 bucks i had it at like 90 so it's just 50 bucks for the rest of the MLB season. It's it's literally about 46 days, um, you know, that we have left in the regular season. And then, oh, it gets much much better. I included a month of 46 day access. So you get all my preseason plays, all my future plays, everything I'm doing in NFL and college football, up to week zero in college football and to week one in NFL all the way through the month of September. So you're going to get about four weeks of the NFL and five weeks of college football, guys. I usually charge $250 a month for this. And you say, well, that's kind of a big number. But you know what? A lot of my guys, they already know. They were with me at the tail end of last season. This is an investment that pays for itself. Like if you are betting even $20 a play, this would be worth it for you. If you're betting a hundred dollars a play this is a fucking value and a lot of you guys already know that don't you so yeah i'm giving you literally 46 day access to my vip and uh, nfl college football and the rest of the regular season of mlb for 50 total dollars guys remember 250 50 that's 300 dollars for 50 bucks it's to give back to y'all i did lower some prices on the season and stuff too just because of the times we're in the economy. Um, I did tell everyone in the MLB video that we're going to have a cap. I can't let VIP get overinflated and it will fill up fast. So my, my hard cap is about 200 people because what will end up happening is when I distribute a play, we will literally move lines. When I send a small army of you guys after them and you all are locking in the play, well, you know, if a bunch of money comes in on and over, they might adjust that NFL line or whatever it is. I've already watched it happen. So, and we're going to have even more people on VIP this year. Um, there's not that many in there now because the season hasn't started yet, but take me up on this offer. It's for you guys. Uh, you know 50 bucks in here like think of it this way too Like if you were in a fantasy league and you got like, you know, three or four buddies that are in there You guys could get all my picks one of you gets access to the channel Literally you guys could get this shit for like 10 bucks I'm giving you the stupid like the dumbest deal that I could possibly ever do It's the best offer I've ever given out on this channel You can see right here. It will give you access uh, to the NFL chats and that's where we do all the distributing so like this video is for UFC, so you can see I have some plays in here already. And then your guys will get access to like the NFL chat. You know, see I put prize picks, I put the links in here for you guys. Um, you know, open these up on the weekends a lot of times. And yeah, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of fun for 50 total dollars. You just can't beat it. But that's enough of that. Let's get into the um it's at wap.com slash SBAA, by the way. The link for this deal right here, it will be under VIP MLP picks. $50 for 46 day access. I will put a link in the description. I'm also gonna hook you guys up for access to this event. I usually charge $20 for all my plays for UFC. We've done really well in the numbered events. I'm trying to keep it going. Um, most of the slips uh, with the handful of some of the sports book specific parlays, you know, money lines and some round props and stuff like that. Uh, most of them are on DFS. I have a, quite a few on Underdog. I got one on DraftKings 6. And I think that might be it, actually. Maybe, yeah. 
So uh, I'm gonna knock this in half for you guys, 50% off. I'm watching the fight tomorrow, getting the event. A couple of my neighbors are coming over to watch it with me. <coughs> and it's just gonna be fucking fun, guys. I can't wait. So let's get into that free play that I got for you guys today. And I put this in on the sports books because it, it like I said, it paid better. So like if you made this $100 bet on you know, price picks or underdog, you'd get $300. So I'm getting a little better value over here on the book, surprisingly. And all we're gonna be doing, taking a couple unders on significant strikes. Now, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Herbert Burns, but I mean, this guy literally like might quit the fight like when he's coming down the tunnel. Like he does not wanna be here. Um, the dude, I, I'll give him credit. He's He could potentially be dangerous for like two or three minutes. Then he's just gonna gas out and fucking quit. Uh, that's what's going to happen against Jack Jenkins. Um, uh, maybe even four minutes, you know, he might be dangerous. But he, let's say that happens. Let's say he somehow takes down Jack Jenkins and submits him, puts him in a guillotine or, you know, arm, arm bar or something. Well, we're going to hit this under most likely because he's when he gets him to the ground, he's not going to be doing a ton of striking. He's going to be going for a submission attempt. But he'll probably gas himself out trying even if that did happen. I really like this under 15.5. If you can find this line, the other guy is going to be Alex Reyes. Now, um, Tom Nolan, I mean, he's a good fighter, but like the <laughs> his money line is just out of control. It's literally at like negative a thousand right now. It got up to like negative 1600 at one point. Um, and Reyes is not very good. He is uh, only had a few fights in the UFC and he's gotten knocked out in the first round, both fights. And these are the one, the one thing I like too is Jenkins and Nolan are both hometown boys. This event's actually gonna be somewhere down there, down under. We're taking unders and we're going down under to Australia. All right, guys, that was uh, kind of corny, but anyways. <laughs> uh yeah so i put 100 bucks to win 365 on this and let's go look at a couple things we're gonna find some research here so dk6 actually has really good graphs on these fighters now if you notice here the raise line i think we got it for what did i just have that at was it 17 this this just got lowered recently yeah 17 and a half so this is all the way down to 11 and a half see if you can do better than this um check underdog check price picks whatever's legal in your state dabble has pretty good significant strike lines usually and i notice they're not as fast at moving them anywhere you can find this you know i'd be comfortable with it probably even here but i prefer it if it was like at 14 and a half just in case some anything above that is good uh, my vips that are already in there um that already got access to the card they already have this play locked in most likely and then burns right here so these are our two dudes we're going to be taking unders on now you see he had 14 um i actually didn't know that he had six here you look at the fight log though he literally lost both fights in the first round so i just think against his opponent with the hype coming in down there in australia um i don't think he's th just that good uh i i just really like the the lower here uh you know what i got it for especially 17 and a half i, I identified that line right away and the fight time literally on these prop sites is like four minutes and if you come over here you can see tom nolan um to win in round one is negative 400 right and the fight to start round two is juiced uh at negative 200 at no so they think like this guy's got one round and i just don't think in one round even if it went all the way to the end and then no one beat him with like five seconds left or something i just don't see him beating that line and then burns the the gas out quitter you can see he hasn't hit this line like ever like maybe in his whole life who fucking knows um i'm telling you guys he's gonna gas out in like three minutes and the fight's just gonna end one way or another um he did make it to round two you know his last couple fights um he you know he could i mean J jenkins like isn't this like ultimate finisher but you can see he's got knocked out three straight fights in round two so that'd probably be a decent bet i think it could happen even sooner um his line's at 15 and a half on here what did we get it at um we got it at the same 15 and a half so and as you can see he just hasn't got that in any of his last five fights and he's not really the striker type if he's going to have a chance in this fight it's going to be on the mat it's going to be early and he that's it that's literally his only chance like he's got to beat this guy before he gasses out 
And if we come back over here and we look at the uh, raise fight, where is it? Where is it? Um, are these futures? Yes, they are. I went the wrong way, I guess. Let's just go back to UFC here. I kind of like uh, Ricky Glenn under two, potentially. I don't know about that one. We'll see. So yeah, Tom Nolan, you can see, is he's back up to negative 1,300. It's just silly. The under 1.5, super freaking juiced. It's going to hit. It, you know, I'd maybe consider putting in a parlay piece or something. Um, Tom Nolan. Oh, was it? We were just looking at this fight. What was I trying to show you guys? Um, oh, yeah. I was trying to show you the other one. What was his name? Um, Burns. Yeah. Okay. So you go to fight props, you can see the significant line is the same right here. I have 15.5. You got the round props. Um, Herbert Burns, I mean, they, they think Jenkins is clearly going to win right here in round one. That's when see how it goes. Uh, the odds get worse. So they think this is the most likely outcome. He'll probably beat him in round one by a knockout. I think there's some like home crowd Australia kind of. These could be like setup fights almost to have like success down there. You know, you're getting two horrible UFC fighters that are probably won't be in the UFC too much longer, and you're giving them hometown like favorites. So I don't know. I just it makes a lot of sense to me. He hasn't done this in any of his last five fights. I don't see a world where he gets there. I just don't. I could see him having. If this fight literally only goes seven and a half minutes or less, I, it wouldn't shock me if he had like five, six strikes. Because the only thing he's going to do is get hit and taken down. Uh, he's going to try to take down. He's going to try to get the, the fight to the mat. So anyways, guys, uh, lock in this play. Get the whole get the whole UFC card um, for 50% off. The link will be in the description. And take advantage of that NFL and MLB combo package I'm giving you all for 50 freaking bucks, man. You can't beat it. Let's lock this play in and uh, we'll uh, do a recap video, hopefully, of everything that went well. So peace out, guys. And hopefully I'll see you in the UFC VIP chat. It is open. So if you get in there, just say what's up and just copy all the plays as soon as you get in there. Like you do, you can scroll up. So when you come in, it'll be at the bottom. You just scroll up and look at all the plays. So get locked those in as soon as possible so the lines don't move uh, any farther. Peace out, guys.